What you guys? This is another video tutorial from IT Box showing how to install very practical and small application called Specky. Specky is another application from Piriform family which you can install on your computer and will tell you many interesting and practical information about, about your operating system and hardware which you have in your computer. To install the spec key to your computer, you need to open your favorite browser and type the address ccleaner.com. You go to the website and on the top bar you can find the position code download. So you go to download and press the hyperlink called download spec key. Now the Specky website open and you can download this application absolutely for free. Wait a moment. Installation. No, the downloading happens. And now you can click the download and the installation process will start. So you see Specky version 1.32 0.32 setup. So click install. The installation process is finished and now you can press the button run specky. Now as you can see you have a brand new window of specky which gives you a certain kind of outlook or summary what exactly happens in your computer. So as you can see you have Operating system, CPU, RAM, motherboard, graphics, storage, optical drives, and audio. So this is a general overview. So if you would like to get a bit more specific exact information, you need to click on any link related on the left side panel. So for example, if you would like to know more information about your operating system, you press the link, and now you can see it telling me that I have Windows 10 Pro, 64-bit edition, my computer type is a notebook, I can see the serial number of the operating system, which nowadays is very often hidden, very deeply, you can, it's very difficult to find this information. As I can see, I can find a lot of data about the operating system. The same with CPU, I said it can be much more specific. Now I can see exactly the temperature, I can see each core temperature, how it's doing. You can go to RAM, you can see how much RAM you have, you can see the usage of the RAM right now, you can see the motherboard, in the motherboard you can find very practical information which is simply information about the BIOS. So you can see the version of the BIOS and the date when it was released and installed on this computer. Another thing is graphic cards, so you, you can see that I've got a graphic chip is Iris XE graphics, you can see the device ID, you can see the storage about your hard drive, optical drives, which I don't have because in my laptop it's not present, audio, peripherals, and network. In the network you can find out how your computer is connected to the internet, you can see the IP address of your computer, you can see the router address, you can see DNS servers and DHCP. So as you can see you can quickly and efficiently find a lot of info about your computer without diving very deeply in the BIOS or trying to find out this somewhere from the manufacturer website. No, 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 it's absolutely unnecessary. So Specky can help you very quickly and efficiently to find out all the information what usually every user needs. Now, I would like to tell you very practical usage of Specky, which is the situation which I'm meeting from time to time when people giving me a laptop which is very, became very slow, very hot, switching off suddenly from time to time, and they don't know why it is happens. If I have this kind of situation, I usually install Specky on the operating system, click the summary, 
and I check what is the temperature of CPU. At this moment, as you can see, the temperature is about 46, 47 degrees. But when, you, when the temperature of your processor is around 100, very often, as a self-defense mechanism, every processor is causing that the whole electricity current is switched off. So to prevent self-melting or self-burning itself, the CPU have this self-defense mechanism. So when the computer achieves something around 100 degrees, it's simply switching off and waiting when the processor will cool down you to be able to start up the computer again. So when I see that, for example, Specky telling me there's 100 degrees, I know that I would have to simply open the computer, clean the fan of the CPU, and after that, the temperature very often will come back to normal. So as you can see, this little tiny app doesn't need a lot of technical knowledge, but it can give you a lot of information about your computer and your operating system and the hardware. I hope that this video was useful for you and if you like it, please subscribe my channel, give me a like and put some comment at the bottom how is your experience with Specky application. It was Mark from IT Box and see you in the next video.